In this video, we'll be looking at how to write blog posts using ChatGPT for restaurant for beginners. You can also use the same strategy to write without ChatGPT. ChatGPT just makes it quicker. We will be talking about the different uh, topic research, research ideas, how to find keywords, how to do competitive analysis. If you have seen my previous video on how I did it for plumbers, it is something similar. So you can keep watching this series. What happens is as you keep watching, you will uh, see the process repeated over and over and over again. That is how I myself learned repeating the process, uh, uh, looking at how others are doing it and analyzing my competitors. So when you do this, you find patterns. So basically, if you're using, if you're going to write any blog post, I would advise having a blog calendar. In that calendar, you have to um, keep slots. Okay, first of all, decide on what days of the week or um, once a week or the frequency also has to be decided. Try to fit in different kinds of blog posts in this calendar. So in every week, for example, on Monday, you will write about uh, something uh, something a customer said or uh, uh, share a snippet about what the customer's feedback was. They liked something, they liked something because there was something in a dish, things like that. On a Wednesday, you can talk about the industry trends, what's happening in the restaurant business. On, you have to analyze your competitors in the same sub niche and then find out what they are doing. So let's get started. It's an example. I'm going to uh, assume that uh, we are doing uh, uh, research for a, a restaurant, which an Indian restaurant in Dallas. Okay, I'm going to type that in and I'll see. I'll take a look at what all the results are coming. And if you can notice, the first one is India Palace. In the uh, Hindu Indian cuisine. Now, this is the Google My Business three uh, positions which uh, show up. Let me show you something, okay? So, I clicked on India Palace, and what do you see? You see, I've used a plugin called GMB everywhere, and you can notice what kind of categories, GMB categories, these people are using, right? Uh, and um, this this GMB category is the key to ranking for that particular keyword in Google. Okay, for local businesses, this is very, very helpful. So make sure that you use the right categories. So how do you do that? You look at your competitors, what categories they have used, and you have to use them in the same order. And you say for because this is an Indian restaurant in Dallas. So the first one is Indian restaurant. Okay. Sometimes uh, based on the location, these categories will be different. So this is just a tip. This has nothing to do with our um, blog post writing, but I just wanted to show you that this way you can identify categories, what they think, what they want to rank for when people search for a restaurant, a bar. Let's look at three examples. This is the Chicago curry house. They have Indian and Nepalese cuisine. What we are looking for is what is their menu structure looking like. So they have a home page and about a menu and an order, carry out, delivery, catering. We also look at what is on the website on the home page itself. Uh, we are also looking at what all the things they are talking about. So they have something about uh, catering, delivery services, all you can eat, buffet or brunch, and uh, group dine ins, right? Let's go to the next website. This is Usmani, usmaniarestaurant.com and again they have an about us menu. They have an extra thing called deals. They are talking about, they have an events and blog section, catering service and uh, uh, you can order online. Then see this is content hubs. Uh, actually you can, they could have put their content hubs here but they are pulling in their blog articles five AC chicken dishes that you must try and uh, tandoori chicken versus chicken charga and something else okay so they are pulling in their content and also if you notice they have uh, their keywords here authentic south asian cu cuisine 
Indian cuisine these are things which if you want to rank for you will have them in place here they have the immediately like how you can make a reservation and how you can call and hopefully they should have had it right on top they should they need you know they should have it uh, here also because that's where you look when you want to so you, your phone number if you keep it here that would be good let's see the first one again they also don't have that so they could have put their contact information here so they could have said that you can call us or contact us by this number they have it only at the bottom and that to uh, very very bottom actually and the next one is uh, uh, india how chicago.com actually the when you come to this url it says it's not secure so they should have installed the ssl okay so, uh, secure socket layer apart from that there's a pop-up nowadays people do not like pop-ups so try to keep this uh, like after the person has stayed on the site for say a few seconds then that would be better also they have similar menus uh, there's the home page there's the menu the locations this is additional they do catering franchisee which is additional about us contact us and if you notice they have their contact information right above the fold this is very 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 important for a local business let's see how they are pulling they have their main things right in the fold you can order online here if you are interested in private dining this is how you can book and if you want to find out more about their brunch this is how you can find out and uh, so we are basically looking at these websites to try and figure out what should we write about for our Indian restaurant which will which we want to rank in uh, Dallas so let's look at this Osmania restaurant uh, they have a blog and if you open the blog you can see there's an image here and uh, they have four or five blog posts uh, five desi chicken dishes that you must try tandoori chicken etc so you can get some ideas on what you can write uh, for your uh, website and then also look on this site we can look for if they have any blog which way straight out find I don't see a blog so another thing you can do is you can uh, check Google for this so let me show you how for that you what you do is you go and grab their URL okay you type in site colon and the URL of your competitor and uh, you can get to see what all they are ranking for they have written on the best uh, like best Pakistani restaurant in Chicago food items archive this is a junk page pa Indian catering service and menu Pakistan Indian so they are trying to rank for both um, this is so we can get many things learn many things out of that they have an archive page and you can see their posts here and uh, actually they have not done very good SEO for the site similarly you can do for the other site and see what people are ranking this for another way you can do is you can plug this into google keywords uh, plan so here is how i would uh, go about doing this open uh, google uh, keywords planner click on uh, this let's type in our primary keyword so it's a restaurant in oh, spelling mistake restaurant in dallas and uh, i'll i want to search in united states I'll remove India save then I'll put my competitor site and I'll see if in it what turns up sometimes nothing will turn up sometimes a lot will turn up so uh, here you can see that they, it has it is showing us some keywords which we can target best restaurants in D Dallas 
I'm here. I'm looking at the year-on-year year change also, so that I can see which are trending. So this one downtown Dallas restaurants it seems to be trending. Uh, places to eat in Dallas, top restaurants in Dallas. So what? See some of the things I we can use on our site as an article. Some of them we can use on say Medium or another website or on YouTube and say that uh, places to eat in Dallas and focus on the first place would be our restaurant and our dishes. Okay. It's good for getting backlinks. Best places to eat in Dallas. Make a list post and uh, feature yours more. So like these uh, many things and Dallas, Dallas lunch spots, uh, famous restaurants in Dallas, must eat places. So you get different keyword ideas here you can also see what people are searching for indian food uh, like they are looking for a nice dinner places they are looking for, what are they looking for you can um, also use either google or you can use a keyword research tool which i'll show you now so we can pull up the uh, semrush or any keyword research tool plug in your competitor and hit on search this will provide us with the organic search traffic, how much search traffic they own or I know what backlinks they have. Also the authority score. Also we can see the trend, the organic traffic is simply increasing. We can see where they are ranking and also it means in which country and let's uh, see what are the type of keywords they are getting uh, rankings for so the first few the most uh, traffic pullers are actually brand names looks like they are a very good well-known brand okay so what i'll do is that i'll tell uh, that i do uh, let me see if there is a way to filter it and uh, so I'll exclude the keyword containing their brand name. Actually, this is this is very good, you know, the ranking for your brand name that the customers know you. So it's really good. So now we are getting the ex um, keywords which we can also think of targeting. Okay, so let's take a look. Pakistani restaurant in Chicago. We don't really want to rank for that and their home page is ranking because ours is an Indian restaurant, okay? And also in Dallas, not uh, Chicago. Then uh, Pakistan food, Pakistan restaurant and if you see here Pakistan food, they are discovering the flavors of Pakistani cuisine. This particular page is ranking. Nice. Okay, here is something which we can actually now start using. Desi chicken. Okay, this will work for us also, Indian uh, for an Indian restaurant. So Desi chicken, and what is ranking? A long URL, zero to 2022 on the fifth of May 2022. They wrote a post. No, yeah, on May 2022. They wrote a post five desi chicken dishes that you must have which is bringing them this traffic so we can include this keyword see why that post is ranking and then find uh, uh, ways to write about it so we can make a note of that in our notepad they are also ranking for street food in pakistan the best of pakistani street foods okay maybe we can write something of the best of indian street foods because it's an indian restaurant so let me show you something for this keyword desi chicken they are ranking position 8 on google and the search volume for that keyword is 480 okay a part of it they might be getting let me pull this up open this site and this is a site it says five desi chicken dishes desi chicken is the primary keyword and uh, then you can see that they have written let's uh, highlight and show you 
first of all they have used the you know location chicago chicken it is for a light bulb feeling chicken desi desi cuisine desi chicken in right in the intro paragraph then again they have written the keyword here desi chicken recipes okay then this is chicago okay but they are targeting chicago and is ranking in uh, probably chicago or texas also all over you what all have they included they've included matka chicken bari biryani again this is desi chicken right it is uh, indian chicken so chicken chapli kebab malai chicken so this will work this is why it's ranking everything is focused on that keyword right not really using that keyword but that keyword is there let us look at how many times they've used that keyword so they've used it here desi chicken it's used here desi chicken here desi chicken and also in their title so they've used it multiple times also they have uh, this is very good they have listed their phone number this will a uh, kind of uh, give a citation boost citation ranking okay so for a local business it's good to have that and also this on every page their address and phone number that's very important to have that on every page so uses this technique we can use and find out some topics we would like to focus on now next what we would do we would now also we would uh, this one more thing is when we are looking at your competitor you have to also see what are the what type of articles they are writing uh, what is the length of the article so for the type of article this is a list kind of post okay five best and this is like uh, informational this versus that then this uh, Zab zabiha halal chicago barbecue delights this could be a list post i don't know the way they have written it but it could be a list post so this is a list post there are five things malai chicken chak please uh, actually it's a repetition of similar post then this is an informational article how to choose, choose the perfect restaurant so uh, uh, and you can see what kind of articles they are writing for particular keywords so this is like a informational article this is a list post five types of matka biryanis five so it's a list post and uh, so and the keyword primary is matka biryani i guess because everywhere see matka chicken biryani matka mutton biryani so again this is a list post so we are looking at uh, the uh, amount of words of our competition the type of post also next we will look for keyword research so we have analyzed our competition we identified the competitors we studied their blog posts and we also analyzed uh, uh, their article lengths and types next is we will uh, find some keywords to build authority and also to create some content hubs of india palace located at one to whatever the address was and let me know what categories they are using and give me steps to optimize my listing so using that so it gave me based on that information which i had provided above it gave me uh, category ideas it also gave me how i can optimize my gmb listing which i had showed you and you can then boost your listing okay this is a quick side tip so here one way you can use is you can say please list the top indian restaurants in dallas uh, texas you can ask something like this so it's pulling up many uh, 
restaurants which are which uh, you know one of them is india palace as you can see here so let it let it do its thing and then we can say that we can continue this and we can say that based on the list above identify topics which they are talking about something like that you can always refine your queries so it says that uh, the topics that they are discussing are about Indian restaurants in Dallas, Texas, the types of Indian cuisine, veg and non-veg options available, specialities of the restaurants like biryani, and curry, styles of Indian cuisine, atmosphere and ambience, focus on fresh ingredients and authentic flavors, availability of a buffet or some of the restaurants. So we can say that then we, we can ask it like okay based on the topics above please list some long tail keywords I can use for my restaurant blog okay see it will give you the keywords but we need to verify that using keyword tools to see if actually there is search volume and if sometimes we can actually rank for those topics so you can also use google to do that okay so so it has built up certain uh, keywords and these are perfect for us we can write on these we can write this on our blog right so i love these topics authentic indian cuisine in dallas non-veg indian food in dallas Traditional North, traditional North Indian dishes in Dallas, Texas. So what would I do with this type of data? There are multiple things we can do with that. We can, what we can do is that we can check this in Google Keywords Planner. So let us do that. So I'm going to copy these keywords. Okay, I'm going to copy these keywords. We'll go to the Google Keyword Planner paste these keywords and uh, it can it will allow only a few keywords here up to 10 then click on guest results and we can see that best Indian restaurants in Delhi uh, in Dallas has uh, 2400 approximate average searches and it has a little bit of a trend then uh, it is giving for us best dosa in Dallas, a downward trend though, best Indian buffet Dallas, uh, top Indian restaurants in Dallas. So we get many keyword ideas from here. This is one way of getting keyword ideas. You can make a note and also you can also use this uh, data. You can sometimes copy this and use it in another keyword tool where it can give an approximate search volume for you and also keyword difficulty score to work with so i can go and search for this keyword which i want to target desi chicken recipes for dinner and uh, then i would look at what kind of results are coming how they have written so this is all list posts here if you see and then this is a recipe 35 plus again a, res a list post so since the first one is a list post i think it will i'm assuming that uh, they need list post so here i have identified a keyword i would like to target next is the next step is to go ahead and write your blog post i will show you how you can use chat gpt to write your blog post outline and uh, to create it will create your headings and subheadings etc which you can then fill it up which makes life easier or the other way is to go and research your competition find what common topics they are talking about make a general outline on google word document and then fill that data now let's ask it to uh, write a blog outline for us write a blog outline for 
include a list of of different types of rice items with chicken you can give it specific instructions or you can also tell it to write a uh, uh, create an outline with uh, something like uh, uh, you know with including the dishes which you have in your restaurant so here it is uh, giving me types of rice dishes with chicken uh, a brief introduction a chicken biryani recipe chicken pulao recipe chicken fried rice recipe and then it gives a conclusion so you can then use this to fill out your blog post and to write a very good blog now that we have the blog outlined we can create the blog post but now we have to add something extra otherwise it will be the same blog post like other websites so what extra can you add you can add images you can uh, have of uh, 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 you know uh, videos uh, put up on youtube about your different uh, about the different uh, recipes which you have spoken about and then embed those you can also pull, pull, pull in some tables and statistical data which will give more uh, value uh, put uh, show it this as more authoritative show more expertise so let's see how we can enhance our blog post so we can say that please list commonly used spices in the biryani and some of their potential health benefits as a table and let's see if it will pull out so it says here is a table of commonly used spices in biryani along with their potential health benefits so you can see like when you make some posts you can see how you can embed such things into your post to add some value to your post so it kind of you know or you can also use these terms into your article so when you tell it to write an article about uh, how to prepare dum biryani you can say that please do talk about the antibacterial uh, the health benefits you know how this coriander will uh, is added and it will help improve, improve digestion so bring some twist to your articles and add some tables add some statistical data wherever you can once you have your entire blog post written now it's the time to generate the meta descriptions for the blog post that meta title clickable title meta descriptions and also create a ask chat gpt or uh, you yourself create some social media posts and share it on social media platforms send a newsletter to your email subscribers asking them to come visit your blog post sending some signals to google to rank your site let's see this as well so we can write something like please write a clickable title and meta description for my keyword include or i can say please include if possible um nutrient values let's see what it does so it wrote an, uh, a meta description uh, and a title it says 10 delicious desi chicken recipes for dinner with nutrient values and also it uh, uh, gave me a meta description spice up your dinner routine with these mouth watering desi chicken recipes from biryanis to fried rice we've got you covered plus we'll share the nutrient values of each dish to help you make healthy choices try them out tonight so that's it and then you make social media posts and share this